Hey everybody, I thought we would paint today and we would paint the storyboard at the first Jesus first 12 years. I'm go not going to say anything during the video so that we can speed it up so it's not quite as long. I've traced it out with pencil, then I've Use my big pen to make the lines darker. I made the copy of it for Children's Church so that the children can make their uh, pictures and put them in their journals. This is a uh, storyboard. I don't know what else to say. All right, guys. I'll uh, get started. And as always, I'm going to start with the very back. Okay, I've got the background done now, so I'm going to do some of the furthest back parts of the pictures. And I thought that I would start here and make this background here grayish color because I feel like it would be a night sky, but I wanted to make sure my star didn't get didn't disappear so I thought let's start actually with that and I'm going to use this paint set uh, that I got from Michaels and I'm going to use this yellow right here and I'm going to paint the star first and then after I paint the star I have another one here I want to paint I'm going to let that dry and then after that dries, I'll do the gray in the background. And I think that uh, I will use my normal favorite gray, which is a light gray. Maybe not. Maybe we want it darker. We probably want it darker, don't we? Let's see what this one is. Oh, that says brown. We don't want to do that. Guess we'll use hmm that makes a hard decision doesn't it how about we use Payne's gray that's a bit darker and having that Payne's gray there with the shiny star I think that will look really nice for my shiny star, I'm going to use this paintbrush here and do that and hope for the best because I wasn't sure how that would work out. And if it doesn't quite come out exactly the way I want it to, I'll go over it with a a yellow gel pen to emphasize the star because I thought it might have difficulty with me trying to make the background gray look like a night sky
Okay, let's get the other one down here. All right, and then once I get this, the background done with the gray color, I'll get that started and then I'll stop. And once I get that done, I'll come back and I'll uh, show you the end result again. I think it'll be okay. You can just hope for the best. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so let's do the next thing on the picture. I'm going to turn on a little bit more light. There we go. And uh, I figured I'd go with some brown. There, the hillside would be a brown. The camels would be brown, the donkey would be brown, the wood would be brown. So I figured let's go with some browns next. So I'll paint the brown, oh, and the tree. I'll paint the brown things and then I'll come back and you can see the next step. See you in a minute. Okay, I've done the brown. I think I've got all the brown spots. So I'm going to, I started doing the blue and I thought, oh, oh, I forgot to start, tell you what I'm doing next. Oh, I just dropped stuff on the floor. So next I'll do the light blue. Okay, the blue, the light blue is done. I'm going to go on to uh, like a sand color to do the sand and the Egypt scene and add it in other little areas across the board. Now I'm going to add some green to it and see where we're at when we're done. Okay, I think that at this point I'm going to add some gray and see what it needs and it might be done soon. 